Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've got an assortment of videos that I've collected here today that we're going to be checking out. But we're going to be starting with Hui and his song Easy Dance featuring Unbi, which I didn't know was dropping, but apparently did quite well. It's got 4.7 million views and they had a performance at Waterbomb that was insane. I don't know. I was talking about this in our Discord. I didn't know how to put it exactly, but I never... I feel like I can say this because Hui was one of my is one of my favorites in Pentagon. I never saw him as a visual necessarily. I never, he wasn't in that tier of the Pentagon guys. And now I don't know what happened, but dude is blooming, straight up blooming on that water bomb stage with Envy was just absolutely crazy. Um, and from the bits I heard of the song, it sounded quite good. So let's get to it. Whee. We're gonna get a fun ass summer song. <laughs> oh, the way she says easy dance is so cute. Oh, what are you doing, YouTube? Good evening and welcome to our show. We're here with the Hui singer, Easy Dance. Oh my god, this video is so colorful. already had the voice, now you've got to have the face, like what? The body? Sure looks like LA. Haha! <laughs> Gonna wave it in the back, but he's pulling it off. Holy shit, she is unbelievably gorgeous. Oh my god, just just praise be that he is 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 now solo man because like not having this voice would have been a crime Amazing transition there. Dude, the same thing like on the water bomb stage, the way they look at each other. I'm gonna have be saying Easy Dance stuck in my head for a week. Oh my god. This is one. Oh, wow. Who would expect, though? Who would expect him to just come out of here and be like, yeah, yeah. Who are you from Pentagon? You know, you know, the guy, he's going to drop one of the best K-pop summer songs this year. Like, didn't, didn't have it on my list. Let those vocals shine on the bridge, man. Cute, hot, playful. We love it. Oh, that was so fucking good. That was so great. Oh, and it's just so... It's so catchy. 
I swear to God, that really is going to be stuck in my brain for a week now. I'm about to go on vacation, and I'm just going to be thinking of and be saying, easy, dance. And of course, as usual, not only did we produce this, but apparently Usuk is also on this, which is awesome. Uh, main composers, lyricists, as, as long as that's what this comment says, and I think they're credited as such. But yeah, that's what you come to expect from those two Pentagon boys. Uh, I love this. This is really, really fantastic. Let's move on to our next one, which is 5050 that released a special live clip. Now, I know there's a whole lot of baggage going into this, and I just really wanted to check this out for myself as someone that really, really loved 5050 at their debut. Uh, then all of a sudden, with their first comeback, they absolutely explode, and then they actually did explode <laughs> after the fact i think we're far enough removed from that that we could say that and just slightly joke around about it now i know the other girls are also doing something themselves um i i've kind of somewhat kept up with this it always seemed to be like a he said she said thing throughout the whole ordeal between attract and and it's just a mess that i'm not really going to get into that exactly but in terms of the new members here so first of all kina is in this from 50 50 um OG 5050, and she was always my favorite, at least at the onset. I watched one episode of their documentary trying to like get deeper into them, and then trouble was afoot, so I didn't continue reacting to that. But Kina is in this as the main rapper, and then the other members that are brand new, Chanel Moon. What an interesting name, Chanel Moon. She's American-Korean. That makes sense. Her actual name is Chanel uh, Moon, which is pretty awesome. And then Yewon. Uh, Hana, and then Athena. And uh, that is the selection for our new members. I'm not going to be able to recognize any of them, of course, outside of Kina. So let's get to it. I think they do some covers here. Yeah, we don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore like we used to do. There she is. I will say right before we start this is that like these are big shoes to fill uh, with Kina being the main rapper. She sang too, but being the main rapper and then 5050 was just such a vocally astounding group that you now have to replace those vocalists. You got to show up. We don't love anymore. What was all of this for? We don't talk anymore like we Wow, she looks like looks like baby Shua. Sounds real good for what I'm hearing now. Now this is damn damn good. Um but to call this a special live clip, I don't know if I'd call this a live clip. There's certainly a lot of processing on this. I would I don't know if I'd call it a pure live clip. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. It it almost sounds too fucking good. Like, this is definitely overlaid audio, because it's not like we're hearing the guitar in a live sense, you know what I mean? I'm very confused by that. But regardless, it did sound really good. Secondary option. I don't know who the hell sings this. Three, two, one. This group is going to have so much... There's going to be people that are not going to accept them no matter what. Yeah. I know what you really like. Only calling me at night. Expecting me to pick up my phone. Cause you're alone. 
I know what you really mean. Know that you don't want me seen. Wonder if my guesses were right. Am I out of your sight? Yeah. Damn. Can we stop the calling? I'm tired of all the talking. Reaching out to me for some company, company. You play with my emotions. Well, I don't play. Okay, no so there's right out, right out of the gate, proving that they can sing. Also, there are going to be a lot of people that are know of this group um, because of Cupid and will look into this and be like, what happened? Wait, where? <laughs> like, what's going on? And will not have followed up on anything. You, ooh, 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 yeah, you, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm tired of always texting after two. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Huh, 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 huh. Very pretty way and like cool way to reintroduce well, reintroduce the group, but this is really, for the most part, a brand new group. Um, outside of maybe whatever musical direction that they had for this group, like the idea of continuing that, um, I would really love to hear these vocals in a truly raw, raw sense. And I just I don't believe that this was exactly that, but I still very, very much enjoyed it. A great like sneak peek at what the group is to be because i know that when it comes to just the extra basically the whole group that they added <laughs> to make 50 50 outside of kina that they were announced pretty recently like i think over the last week or two um before even before releasing this so this was a cool little way to kind of get an idea of what we're going to get uh in the end and next up We've got Triple S Glow and their song Inner Dance. This is over a month old, like two months old at this point almost. Um, this is a request, I believe, from Mike. We do a lot of Triple S stuff over on Ye Old Patreon and Fourth Wall. If you're interested in checking out signals and things like that, we do that over there. I got a small, small taste of Inner Dance when we checked out their Girls Never Stop signal for their like fan con um, that they did. And it sounded really damn good. So... Let's check it out. I just want to get a grasp on the members real quick. I always mention how the last like eight members of Triple S are a bit harder for me uh, to really nail for the most part in terms of who's who. And we've got Chewan, Solin, Sola, and Jian in this one. So we'll see if I recognize anybody for the most part. Let's do it. Inner dance. <laughs> This is more of like a performance video. Oh yeah, it's just really catchy. Ooh, the footwork. Well, I definitely recognize she's the youngest, I believe, of the whole group, right? Jian right also has just such a recognizable face. Mm. I love how they incorporate the fandom name, too. In the second line of the chorus, changing wave to wave. I mean, they are called Glow for a reason. This video. Wow, this is a really well done, spruced up performance video. Up 
This is a straight fucking groove, dude. The sign flow. What the hell is a sign flow? Go tangent. I don't know math terms. Yeah, Jian has really bright eyes. She's Whoa! <laughs> the choreography is so good. It's like simple, but it has that same vibe of like generation to where it's like they're just dancing very freely. It's what it feels like. This production is like very triple S2. Oh wow, damn. That is that is an addicting song, man. I, I, like the chorus is the only bit that I had really heard from different clips and whatnot and like coming across challenges really quick, whatever I'm you know, sent uh, <laughs> via the, the YouTube algorithm on shorts. But this is a really, really uh addicting earworm type of song. Production just Reeks of just triple S-ness, um, a really catchy groove. I dig it. This is the only song that they put out, right? I don't know if they have a B-side from this. It's why these last eight members are a bit harder for me. Because their, their debuts were just much smaller in scope. Like... It would have been cool to see like a proper album from Glow and from Next, but I think once they had the 24, they really just wanted to get to the like proper debut debut. Um, but coming back to this, uh, very satisfied. Great song that is going on the playlist for sure. I just want to check real quick, super quick. Does that have a B-side to this? release or is it solo it looks like it's a solo uh track so i wonder if they will ever revert back to these subunits in terms of glow and next and give them maybe proper albums down the line or now kind of the mishmash of subunits that we're going to get going forward will just be the future and then you have your once a year everyone together kind of album uh release and that's just what we're going to get it would be really nice to hear like a proper uh mini album from each of these subunits but i will take whatever i can get and now we're moving on to another mod house group in artemis they released their self-made mv for unfair i had voted in this gravity to uh choose what song that they were going to make an mv for i did not win i did not win i chose butterfly effect but unfair was the one that won and i cannot wait to see them live when i get back from my vacation it's like two days after i get back stoked so let's check it out I'm assuming this is going to be very cute because it's self-made. <laughs> Short hair, Heejin. Black Bob, Heejin. Hey, baby. This is well done. Whoa. Whoa. Someone looks at you like that in class, you're dead. This album is just it's so good. It's so good. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is so cute. She just had her birthday. Well, this old is serving looks in those glasses. <laughs> the side eye. Look at that little side eye. <laughs> They all want the attention of the new girl. I feel like you're getting a lot of different aspects of your typical high school uh, romance K-drama in this. You just writing down she's learning all about her. Post Malone? Are these songs that she likes? <laughs> Another cruel summer, come on. Dude, but the quality of this. I was expecting lower like production level for self-made. Hustle stole your girl! Lips smirk. Oh, uh, you share milk, it's all over. Once you share milk, it's you're basically married. Oh god damn, this song is good. <laughs> she looks great with the with the uh, dark hair bob. I have a feeling that a lot of the fingerprints of this music video is all is is all Jin Sol. She's the one that loves to handle editing and do all this stuff. I would imagine that she had a lot of the ideas for this, but they, but they also have a behind the scenes for it as well. It was really well done. I was expecting. Something even like more lower budget and kind of just done like with their phone. But this was really, really well made and seemed like they basically had like a lot of their inputs and the ideas that they wanted to do for the video. And then like there was actually like a full staff to actually realize um, what they wanted. But yeah, I could understand falling for someone, the new girl in the class too, that came in with a hairstyle like that. But also wait, what the, what the hell? In the actual photo, she's not there. They fall in love with a ghost. They must have ghost agent. Anyway, that was cute. I loved it. That song is amazing. That album is still the album of the year. It is what it is. I don't know if anything's going to be beating that, honestly. When you combine also just how amazing the album is standalone, and then you combine it with my bias to that group of being my favorite, that's just that's a really hard concoction to top. Uh, and I did put that up on YouTube when I was away at KCON. Uh, so not only on Patreon and Fourth Wall. So if you have not seen it, that is up here on YouTube. Now let's move on to the next group, which is B2B. We're going to be doing two B-sides. Close out the rest of the B-sides that I have not heard on their Wind & Wish album. This is a request from Alicia Ellis. Thank you, thank you so much. Mush. Uh, I just wanted to bring up their Wind & Wish album really quick. Because I have heard the other ones... Now, between Heaven and Day and Night, I can't remember which one. I think Heaven, yes, because I added that. Heaven, I really loved a lot. Now we're doing Moonride and Your Love. Let's go. We just watched a long variety with uh, Chung Sub and Solar, if you're interested. And then driving around. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, you know I'm here for the sin. The lyrics, too, match up with what we're hearing, too. Neon signs, rapidly spreading lights. Top off, hop on, hit the streets. Hands up high, feel the breeze. Just drive, feel alive. I can sense the tension between you and me. I keep raising the volume. What is that photo? <gasps> oh, Jim Six sounds so good here. Dude, I love I love Minix rapping tone so much that I I'm I'm waiting for another like solo comeback from it. It's been like two years now. I feel like that should be around the corner maybe. Although I think that also had an album alongside it, and I never listened to any of those B sides. Just just the main title. But ah. Uh. Ooh, he just gets me hyped. They hinted at maybe touring the U.S., which would be nice, please. The vibe of this also just suits them. It's got this really big theatrical sound. Alongside, you know, being a synthy retro track. Oh, yes, this beat. Oh, dude, Jones like really does sound great on this track. Hong Kong's vocals are so amazing that really any genre, I don't know if there's a genre that he couldn't, you know, lend his voice to. Extended outro. Ooh. Oh, damn. That was really good. That also really stand stood out in style from what I remember from the rest of this album so far. Nothing quite sounds like that in terms of like, especially going for this retro vibe. Usually things are going a lot more chill, just like earlier in this video, uh, where I say that Easy Dance is largely chill for the most part, even though it's very much a visual um, attack. But this one just is has a, a really like swing type groove to it too that it feels not necessarily 80s but like almost like an early 90s there's this kind of poppy like hip-hop vibe to it with the the cadence of the beats that it's really reminding me of something in particular that i can't really put my finger on but i dig it and it really suits them well 
Let's move on to the final one off of this album, which is Your Love. Oh, this is also sounding kind of a uh, early 90s. has such a pretty rise and fall it feels very floaty I actually do like this rap I'm very critical of Pinyol's rap verses but I like that one it's very snappy Yo, he's been killing it for these past two songs. Oh, it's the cor this chorus. It just comes in just so seamlessly and sounds so good. I like how simplistic the chorus is too. It's very straightforward. But the instrumental gets so deep. The thing is though, with his rapping tone, it sounds like he he at some point wants to just pop off and get really aggressive. She has a very aggressive rapping tone. Oh! That chunks up with the backing vocals before? Oh. They're all doing it. Hong Kong especially looks super. I mean, they all kind of look, uh, I'd say, well, mostly Kong and Chung Sub look very 90s with their vests and everything that they've got on. Kong's got the like preppy, like uh, tied off sweater around him. But yeah, that was really fucking good. I dug that. Very, very smooth, smooth love song. Um, I don't know what would be my favorite off of this album. I think I'd probably have to listen to Heaven Again. Oh, yeah. This one was way more grand feeling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember now. Heaven is the one. <laughs> Heaven is absolutely the one. Um, I thought Day and Night, I think from what I remember, was okay. I'd probably put Heaven... 
then go to Your Love and Moonride as as uh my my tier list there for the b-sides thank you so much alicia for the request we've got some more b2b coming up uh once i get back from my trip but yeah thank you guys so much for checking out these videos with me uh we did a handful here i enjoyed pretty much everything that i heard let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about Hui's new song what you think about the whole 50 50 situation triple s Artemis, are you seeing Artemis on tour? And what you think of these B2B B-sides? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.